last week we asked the question, do you need influencers? This week, I wanna share some examples of how you can empower your own existing audience by creating content worth sharing. And I'm gonna give you some examples right after I drink some coffee. Happy freaking Monday, I'm Ben Frisch with Be Fresh Media, and this is your weekly wake-up call to kick your marketing out of bed. Today, we're talking about giving your audience something worth sharing. Because, let's face it, not everyone needs or can benefit from influencer marketing. And we talked about it last week as influencers being basically your gateway to a larger audience. Here are three ways that you can create better content that will reach a wider audience organically because people want to share it. So the first one is create something unique. I know that sounds pretty vague. So here are some examples. The first one from a local restaurant called The Smoke Barbecue. Um, I saw this photo blowing up my Instagram, not blowing up, but I mean, it was being shared a lot. People were talking about it. You know that anyone who's sitting down at the restaurant who orders this drink is going to take a photo of it just because it's so, so epic. The second example is from another local business, the Thornbury Bakery Cafe and they just posted this photo over the weekend of their pretty insane um, mile high lemon meringue pie and i love it i mean the photo is incredible that pie is so absurd in a very good way it's great too because it's just something an everyday normal item on their menu that they took over the top and kudos to them for getting their brand in the shot as well very well done. That was my Donald Trump hands. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> don't do that. Note to self. Anyway, again, these are both really simple ideas that they just took to the extreme so that anyone who looks at that item is going to want to take a photo of it, talk about it, share it. I love it. Super easy. You can do it. Number two is create experiences. If you were anywhere near Collingwood this past winter, I'm sure you heard about Blumination, which was the light path created at Blue Village. And I'm guessing it was a big success because I saw tons of people talking about it, sharing it, um, using the hashtag, and it looked like it got a lot of traction. I even had to go check it out myself. Here's an experience that was worth taking lots of photos of. Now granted, it was probably not a cheap thing to put together. So, um, you know, another cost-effective experience might be something simple, like bringing people into your space to teach them what you do. Say, again, you run a bakery, maybe you can offer classes or a vineyard, and maybe you do tours with wine picking and stomping. I've heard of a place that does that, and they get tons of traction with, uh, visitors coming through stomping on grapes and that is the highlight of their trip and they're constantly taking photos of that experience and posting them online if you want more inspiration here's what you do google nuit blanche exhibits that's the outdoor all-night contemporary art festival that happens in toronto and it's full of inspiration from transforming spaces to creating immersive experiences you're bound to find something that you can relate to your business and turn into something very cool. Number three is name it. So no matter what you do, from an experience to an object or a menu item, give it a name. So think Blumination, Mile High Lemon Rang Pie. That's just fun to say. Not only is it really fun to say, but naming your experience is an important part to getting people to share it. Instead of having to describe it or come up with a name themselves, it gives people the social currency needed to latch on to it and share it. Basically, it's so much easier and effective to say, did you see Blumination? You have to go see Blumination. You gotta check out Blumination. That's a lot more effective than, did you go to see that path at Blue Mountain with all the different colored lights and you walk down the path and there's bridges and stuff and it's all lights? It's it's really cool. You should should see it. It's neat. Yeah, no one's going to go see that. Giving it a name just seems more exciting and effective. 
So last week when we talked about influencer marketing, one of the big things about it is authenticity. And that's really important to remain authentic and keep that message authentic and not feel like an advertisement. So this is a great way to give audiences something worth sharing in an authentic, organic way to empower them to be your influencer. I hope you found this helpful. If you've made something epic that's worth sharing, leave it in the comments and I'll check it out. I'd love to see some more epic creations and experiences. And don't forget, always more on my blog at befresh.media. Speaking of my website, I've got this special promotion going on still right now till the end of April that is for website video. So go check it out at befresh.media. Until next time, have a happy freaking Monday and a great week, and we'll see you in the next video.